you have to stick around until the end of this video uh, for the payout. If you don't, it's kind of like going to McDonald's and ordering a Big Mac and then just throwing it in the trash can. If, if you're a serious artist or an art enthusiast or just like to be entertained, uh, the payoff is at the end. And this one has a pretty good payout because um, th this one, with all my practice, I'm getting pretty good at my ink washes and, and all the other stuff. And this one has a lot of curb appeal, I guess I'd say, for the thumbnail. Um, I was trying to do something a little more uh, kid-friendly. Uh, a little more open to the public. Um, not so much what I wanted to do, but what I felt the general public would like. So, um, some reason that movie, How to Train Your Dragon, popped in my brain. I thought, well, you know, maybe I should do something a little more kid-friendly. So I put it on. I watched about half of it. And it's a pretty good little movie. And I was looking at the, the designs of the dragons. I thought, well, you know, I could do something like that. So I took some ideas. I watched, watched about half of it, like I said. And um, I, I didn't steal any one design. I kind of combined the, the best of what I liked into one. And I just turned the TV off, walked over my sketch pad, and just doodled up something. And I, and I kind of liked it. So um, since I was well motivated, I had, it's, always, it's always better to, to start with a good project that you feel good about. So um, I, here I am. I'm putting in my thicker lines like I always do. Uh, I put those little hash marks on the edges to, to give it a more um, more edge, edge power. I don't know what you call it. I'm working on my horn there, uh, thickening up the back sides, thickening up the um, uh, edges a lot. Uh, the, the, the hands on these, um, I just winged, winged them and they came out really good. Um, I, I will um, move the camera down here in a second so you can see them. But right now, I'm, I'm just doing some general pencil shading, which I will go over with the ink wash. And if you follow this page at all, you kind of know my process. So I start off with the pencil, because I want the pencil to come through uh, the, the ink so you can see it, because it gives it a lot of texture, which makes it kind of a cool thing. So I've got the pen pencil texture plus the ink wash that adds the gray tones and the shadows. And um, I kind of figured out my lighting better. I've been doing so many of these now that I, I'm, I've kind of remembered how to do the shading. So when I go back to do my acrylic paintings later on, I'm going to be totally lost because I have to do it the other direction and go from darks to lights. But this one here um, has, you know, it kind of looks like it has some commercial value to it. You know, I, I, um, I like I could make prints of it or sell this or something because it came out it came out really super good. So it makes me think maybe I should just start making art that people want. And I keep hearing that all the time. Make the make the art that people want. Uh, you're only going to sell art if you make the, the art that people want to buy. Uh, it makes me feel like a huge sellout. <laughs> but then there's like that Bon Jovi effect. You know, Bon Jovi's popular because they write popular bubblegum songs, and those death metal bands um, are not popular because they just write stuff that they want they like. And I, I, I've heard them talk about it. You know, we don't write uh, pop music. We write music that has integrity. Well, maybe so for you guys, but if you want to hit a broad audience, you need to expand and, and, and go with the flow. So maybe I need to go with the flow. So this um, painting is my test. Um, normally my videos, I mean, I'm putting so many out now, maybe the algorithm's fighting me, but the, I'm not getting a lot of traction. So we're going to see if this one gets any traction. Um, and if you are watching this, I'd appreciate if you make comments, because comments help get me traction and they'll, they'll share this video more on YouTube if, if you're interacting with it. Uh, give me some thumbs up, give me some comments, uh, share it. Anything you guys do helps me. It really does. Um, also, if you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you would become a subscriber. Um, they say that subscribers don't matter as much as they used to back in the day, but I would, I, whenever I see a new one, it makes me jump for joy. Because this is a lot of work. Uh, this video, I mean, I mean, this painting probably took me 25, 30 minutes to do. Uh, it, I condense it down to about 12 minutes here on this rapid fire video. Um, but the, if you look, here I am at the hands again. I, I, I do eventually pop the picture up so you can see the hands. And I want you to see them because they're really kind of cool. I have this way of doing them where I draw these little circles for knuckles. And I just kind of connect them with these tubes so I can make the fingers do what I want to do just based on where I put the circles at. And then I, I kind of just kind of scratch it in in my Frank Frazetta uh, style. I'm, I'm a big Frank fan, um, if you haven't, haven't noticed. 
Um, I guess I'm also a uh, cartoon fan now, too. Um, you know, it's watching that movie, and it's a pretty good movie, but I do think it's uh, a little quick, a little fast, hard to follow in some points. I think they should slow those things down. I think that's the reason why kids have H ADHD is because they're just bombarding them with too much stuff too fast. But, I oh, here we go. Here's the hands. Um, I've already kind of sketched them in with, with pencil. Then I went over some ink, and uh, I filled in the fingernails, and now I'm, I'm shading the bottom half. And uh, I love the design of the hands, especially the one on the right side of the page. Uh, that thing looks, looks cool. I'm not bragging on myself, uh, but, but um, I think they look cool. And luckily, when I was framing this shot, I kept the eyeballs in the shot, because um, if I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have got myself painting the, the pupils in. And here's one thing I did, and I'll, I'll, this was definitely pandering, is I was going for puppy dog eyes. <laughs> I want this thumbnail to jump off the page, and I want people to see those puppy dog eyes and click on it. Um, I don't know what else I could do to make this more uh, user-friendly or more um, appealing to the mass public. So I made a happy, smiling kid's dragon with puppy dog eyes. And if that doesn't get me somewhere, then I don't know what's going to get me anywhere. Um, if it does get me somewhere, I guarantee you I will be doing this again. Uh, I would love to get, you know, a uh, hundred views on a video, you know, a thousand. That'd be awesome. Uh, I'm nowhere even close to that. Um, right now, I'm about 120 videos on my YouTube page. I got a lot more to go. And they say, it, you know, YouTube's a long haul. Uh, my original YouTube account has over a thousand videos on it. I've had it since 2008, but it's not art related. Well, uh, there's a small section of art, but most of it's just like local news local events and unless you're from around here nobody cares so i have uh 500 subscribers over in, and that was since 2008 um it's kind of a hodgepodge of different things i do a lot of uh, I, uh coverage of athletics i used to do a lot of covering of um uh racing uh like stock car racing so i have a lot of stock car racing videos i shot myself um but you know that has a, a kind of a small appeal, especially when it's a small town or a small area. And I live in a small town. I mean, uh, it, it's so small that uh, when I drive out of town, I have a good chance of seeing a cow or a cornfield. Uh, pretty small. On the way to work, I have to, this is a true story, I, I go to work pretty early in the morning because I'm a nurse. And whenever I'm on the road, it's, it's dark out. And I'm always scanning the road for deer. Deer, deer, deer. I hate deer. I've only hit one once, and that was 20 years ago, and it just kind of scraped by me. My, my main problem is raccoons. I hit three of them this year. Oh, look at that lip. Isn't that cool? This lip came out really well. I didn't know what to do. I thought about mixing some white and making it pink. I thought, no, I don't want to make it pink. That would look too, I don't know, too girly or something. So I left it with the red, and it came out really well. Uh, but back to my raccoon story. So I hit three raccoons this year with my minivan, and it busted the plastic on the bottom. So I had to get some duct tape and go out to my brother's house, and we uh, duct taped the, the bumper back together. And it's still working, but that's what it's like around here. Uh, we got lots and lots of raccoons, lots of skunks and possums and other nasty little creatures like to crawl out on the highway at 4 in the morning. But luckily, I, 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 I can usually spot the deer, and I've seen quite a few this year. And, you know, I'm, they kind of blend into the background with the trees and whatnot. But I have my, my deer radar in my brain scanning and looking. So we're, let's get back to this picture. Now I'm putting in some blue, and not not as dark as the last picture I did. I, I, I last painting I went a little bit too dark. I want to just put enough color to make it look like this was from a, from a, from a cartoon or from from a movie, a movie slide. I want people to look at this thumbnail and think, did he, you know, just copy that off of a movie or something? You know, that's my goal. That might be enough to get him to click on this thing. So I want you to like and subscribe and like and subscribe and share and share and share. I need more subscribers. I need you to comment on my videos. Comment, 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 comment. I hope you made it this far because this is the big payoff. I hope you didn't go to McDonald's and order your Big Mac and then throw it in the trash can because Big Macs are actually not that bad. Um, we're getting kind of close to the finish here, but not quite. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you, if you want to see more cool stuff, tell me what you want. All right, here's my name, Keith Trim of Keith Trim Dragon Art. Look, I did a dragon, and it's in my own genre.